Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be jumping back with our pandas series, and we're going to be looking at the date range function. So we're going to kind of touch on and utilize uh, what we did last time with date time, and we're going to build upon it. And that's why it is so important for you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So all right, we learned how to bring in and set some date time objects. So let's just go ahead and get started. So dt uh, date time uh, year uh, one comma one, and we're gonna end date time dot date time. Uh, let's go uh, 2020 comma one comma oops one comma one so all right now we're gonna use dates then date range range and start and end all right, here we go. Print dates. Boom. So, all right, we're going to let this bring everything in and go ahead and print it. But this is the beginnings of how sophisticated pandas is. So, let's look at this. Okay, so we have our start date, January 1st, 2019, and our end date, January 1st of 2020. So let's look at this. So these are dates. Okay. So date range, the frequency. You have a lot of control. So we're gonna we're gonna start dipping into this, and we're gonna mess around with the frequency and periods. So this is one way you can control it: a start and a stop. And we're going to show you a couple other ways. And you can see here, length 366, because it's beginning of the year to the beginning of the year. And these are inclusive. All right. So now let's go ahead and control. Let's control the. All right. So actually, I guess we can undo this one and just change dates. Dates pd dot date range and we're gonna stick with start but now we're gonna mess with this right here periods and shoot Is that sit off of there let's fix this again make sure you can read this frequency there we are let's fix that boom periods frequency all right so start period we're just going to do four then frequency and I'll show you a list of these aliases all right you may guess probably should have changed that to hours <laughs> but there we are oops periods let's do that again there we go so guess what H is hours so here, let me show you this. This is from pandas where, let's make sure you can, yeah, you can see that good. So this is a pandas guide uh, time series and then the alias is, I'll have all these links down in the bottom, but here's the frequency aliases. Boom, so you have C for calendar day, which is the default day right there. And then I just did hourly. So let's kind of toy around with this, see what all we can do. All right, that was hours. Now I want to show you this. Uh, let's comment that one out. Dates. What was the next one? PD date. 
underscore range start periods odds equals 10 oh yeah that all right check this one out so frequency all right so 90 min so I want to show you this so this this can handle this this way but I want to show you what comes out T so we come over here to our alias right frequency minutes T minutes all right and you can also mix and match let's get rid of this one or over we did we did minutes there this is one that's kind of common for tracking things date range start periods probably should be copying this to not be boring you guys so much frequency all right so 180 days is pretty standard for for things so guess what it can go through and it can calculate but I do want to show you this one uh, that this is important let's, you know, let's save you guys the pain of watching me type so let's copy and comment out bring this down you can do uh, here you can just change this to months just M and you can also mix and match so we got and see that this defaults to that this is the one that I really wanted to show you so I want to sh watch this so we did the start day at the beginning of the month but month defaults to the last day of the month that was I remember one thing that really blew me away about it and you can also mix and match and this is the one that I loved so you can mix and match these one day 10 minutes so check those out it can handle and it'll convert it for you one day 10 minutes just like that so here are the aliases and I will have these links for you down in the bottom but please drop any comments questions any video requests below and we're gonna start mixing and matching and things like this I mean just absolutely unbelievably powerful tools that are laid out there for us so as always guys thanks for watching stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys Thank you.